cave drawings discovered on a remote Caribbean island reveal how some of the earliest Europeans talked with indigenous people about religion. A large collection of early colonial inscriptions written within a cave system have been found by archaeologists from the British Museum and the University of Leicester. They include more than 30 historic inscriptions, including phrases in Latin and Spanish such as God forgive you, as well as dates and Christian symbols. The findings provide dramatic new insights into some of the earliest interactions between these two very different cultures. They have provided new understandings of colonial processes that are more nuanced than mere oppression, domination and, in the case of the Caribbean, indigenous extinction, the researchers write. The inscriptions were written by named individuals within the cave system. Three major phrases are found in the caves. As well as God forgive you, they include pluriphesitius or God made many things. There is no obvious contemporary textual source for this phrase and the commentary appears to be a spontaneous response to whatever the visitor experienced in the cave, the researchers write. The phrase may express the theological crisis of the New World Discovery, which throws the personalized human experience and reaction into sharp relief. The third Latin inscription, Verbum Caro Factum Est, is a direct quotation from the Vulgate version of the Bible, the Gospel of John 1.14 and translates to And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The biblical passage follows a description of the creation of the world, and is the first announcement of Jesus, the Word, in the Gospel, followed by his baptism. This is one of the best known of all chapters of the Bible, and would have been familiar even to Christians without any formal Latin education. The researchers say that the nature of these drawings gives us an idea of the tone and personal context of this first encounter. The results have been published in a paper, in Antiquity. The findings are on the island of Mona, which lies on the Atlantic route from Europe to the Americas, and was recorded by Christopher Columbus on a second voyage in AD 1494. The researchers say the drawings provided new understandings about the formation of emergent cultural identities in the Caribbean that challenge historic accounts of indigenous extinction. Dr. Alice Sampson from the University of Leicester, who co-led the study, said, this not only provides a counterpoint to official metropolitan histories, but also tracks the beginnings of new religious engagements and transforming cultural identities in the Americas. Communities on the island of Mona were exposed to the earliest waves of European impact during a critical period of transformation and the forging of new identities. Since 2013, the researchers have been exploring around 70 cave systems on the island, where they have found thousands of motifs recorded deep within the caves as well as the phrases, cross are found throughout the cave system. They appear alone and also in direct association with names and phrases, and most often in association with indigenous iconography. A study of the stroke sequences has found that the vertical line is drawn first and the horizontal line afterwards, from left to right, in the gesture of a right-handed blessing. The crosses are usually placed in dominant positions over cave entrances or on high walls. In addition to the Christian symbolism and religious phrases, the cave walls also bear a series of dated and named individuals. These include Miguel Rapal 1550, Alonso Perez Roldan in Almozo 1550 August, and Alonso de Contreras 1554. Other 16th century visitors include an individual named Bernardo, who wrote his name after the inscription Verbum Caro Factum Est, and an anonymous visitor in February 1554. A Captain Francisco Allegri also wrote his name prominently in one of the cave chambers. Dr. Yargo Cooper from the British Museum, who co-led the study, said, This research reveals a new perspective on the personal encounter between indigenous populations and the first generations of Europeans in the Americas. This is a unique site that helps us to understand the origins of cultural identity in the Americas, the start of a process that continues right up to the modern day.